Hey guys, Zotu for Life here with a uh, <clears throat> bit of a discussion. So we finally know what Fenrir and German Guards' effects are now. If you don't already know, I'm a huge fan of Nordics. Heck, <laughs> I have two different deck profiles on here. I'm planning on doing a updated one after the Legendary Collection is released because everything has almost everything has been reprinted as a secret. <laughs> uh, which just looks beautiful. I mean, like, literally, it just looks all cool and stuff. And I can't wait to bring out my Nordic deck. Like, literally, Tengisnir, Tengjostir are all secrets, and it just looks so cool. And I'm going to be having no money <laughs> later on. Anyway, so, I finally know the effects of Jormungard and uh, Fenrir. And I knew they were going to be crap. I had no hopes whatsoever. I wish that... Konami had taken this opportunity to give uh, Nordics a draw card. That's what they need, in my opinion. They just need something kind of like D-Draw, where you discard a Nordic Tuner and draw two cards. That is what they need. They don't need whatever they tried to do with these. <clears throat> I'm going to read off their effects and stats. Got it on my phone here. Uh, yeah, take it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, phone. And, uh, guys, I am just like so, like, angry at Konami, but I also am happy that they've blinged out the deck. <laughs> okay, first one is Jormungard, the Nordic Serpent. Level 8, Dark Dragon effect, 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense. Uh, on one thing that I do want to say is that Nordics can now officially run trade-in if they wanted to. <laughs> Might actually try that out. Uh, anyways, if you control a face of AZ or monster, you can spell summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field and face up defense position. When this defense position card is changed to attack position, its controller takes 3,000 damage. Okay, yeah, you can do 3,000 damage to your to your opponent. That's not that bad, but, however, it's not great either. You have to control an A0 to summon this thing. I would have preferred it if they had done what they did with the, uh, uh, with the the with these two in one of the other games. I can't remember, one of the video games, I can't remember which. But they just simply made it to where you just had to control a Nordic. Or an Azir. Now you have to control a Azir. Same thing goes for Fenrir. Fenrir, the Nordic Wolf. Level 10, Beast, Dark, Effect, 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. During your main phase 2, if you control a face up Azir monster, you can spell summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in face up defense position. If there are no face up Azir monsters on the field, destroy this card. During the battle phase, all defense position monsters you control are changed to attack position. Any battle damage a player takes from a battle involving this card is also inflicted to their opponent. Okay, so, they're crap. Like, literally, these are not what Nordics needed. Nordics needed something much better. And these cards will do nothing for them. Like, if you were hoping that these would somehow make Nordics suddenly be Tier 2 or Tier 1, it's not going to happen, especially whenever you take a look at all the other things. Now, I guess Nordic Burn could potentially be a thing, and I'm sorry if like, my lighting is off, I don't have like professional lights or anything, uh, but uh, Nordic Burn, it's just going to be so inconsistent, I'm going to have to test it for myself and try and find a build, but I'm just not wanting to. I mean, yes, per you can OTK, okay, I get that, you can, okay, there, there's, this, there's one other Nordic player, well, I'd hardly even call him a Nordic player at my locals because... He wants to play the deck, but he doesn't play it. He doesn't have it or anything. And I guess he can build it now, since everything's getting reprinted. But, however, he, he's been, like, promoting Nordic Burn for, like, as long as I can think of. And this is just stupid, okay? Yes, you can summon out three German Guards and one Fenrir and do 9,000 points of damage to your opponent. Yes, you can do that. But, however, you already got to have an easier route. So you have to have Odin, Loki, or Thor, okay? Which, it's hard to do as enough, okay? Yes, my build has been able to do it consistently and easily, but, however, that's because it's consistent, okay? These just ruin the consistency, okay? I might try out German Guards just simply to try and do trade-in so I can draw some more, but that's just about as far as it'll go, okay? Except from that, I'm just disappointed with what Konami is giving the archetype. I hope they do get more support later down the line. <laughs> I'd be a very, very happy person if they do that, and uh, it's just, I never had high hopes for this anyways, <laughs> I'm just going to say that now, 
Uh, anyways, guys, what are your thoughts? Are you going to try and build a Nordic Burn deck? Are you going to try and get these things to work in the deck? Because, personally, <laughs> I don't know if I want to. I mean, I kind of do. I kind of don't. I'm hesitant to. <laughs> anyways, guys, see you later. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.